One, two, three, four. A limited. All bikinis all the time. All this week on Eliminate's Bikini Week. We know how guys feel about bikini parties. Hop notch. But this one. I want to see how he looks in a G-string. Is for the ladies. I really don't like him wearing something another woman bought for him. But. But what? But it did look good on him. Three get the act, one gets the date. When he took off his shorts, I saw everything. It all starts now. Eliminate. One, two, three. <laughs> My name's Alan. I'm a grad student at Temple University here in Philadelphia. I'm studying hotel management and hospitality tourism. And they always say the best way to a man's heart is through his stomach. But I believe the best way through a woman's heart is through her stomach. I don't like a shy individual. I want somebody that's going to jump in, that's going to participate. In. If she does all that, she's definitely, definitely going to the second round. But if she doesn't, she's cut immediately out of the first round. A limited. <laughs> I made them come to my apartment because I have a beautiful pool with a deck. We're going to have a pool party. I'm ready to go. I'm excited about seeing these four gorgeous women and have a wonderful time today. I consider myself loud and bitchy, but that's not why girls hate me. They hate me because I'm beautiful. I'm Angelique, and I'm an elementary education major at Temple University. Hey, what's Hi. up? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Elle. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You are cute. Oh, so are you. Yeah, thanks. So are you. It was a warm hug that she actually gave me. I got a lot from Angelique actually just meeting her. I'm not a hoochie mama, but I do wear sexy clothes, and of course I have the figure to show it. My name is Monet, and I'm Austin's sales coordinator. How are you? Hello, how are you? I'm Monet. Alan, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. The guy had it going on. His body was banging. I'm very adventurous. I like to try anything once. Um, you only live once, so you always might try it. You might like it. I'm Daylene, a sales rep from a cellular company. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. She's breathtaking. Daylene is gorgeous. I'm what you would call a dime. That's like, from one to 10, I'm a 10. My name's Aaliyah, and I'm a student at Temple University. Well, hello there. Hi. Hi, how are you? Aaliyah, how are you? Aaliyah, well, nice to meet you. He has the perfect complexion, beautiful eyes, nice hair, and his body is off the hook. What's your name? Alan. Alan? Yes. I'm sorry, excuse yes. me. I'm sorry, it's nice. okay. Alan, I Thank you. I think Aaliyah was a little bit pushy, trying to push her way through everybody just to grab his hand. I guess she wanted to be the only one, you know, center of attention. Let me check my cooler and see what I have available for you. Come over here and take your pick, lady. So what exactly do you do? I wait tables on Delaware Avenue. You wait tables? How about you? I'm an options coordinator for new home development in Maryland, and I also wait tables as well. Really? Mm -hmm. OK. And how about you, young lady? I'm a waitress down in Old City at Cafe Monticello. OK, so everybody's a waitress. How about you? Yeah. I'm a sales rep for a cellular company. Oh, so how do you feel about the ladies here? Waitress, you think it's a good job, a bad job? It's a good job. I used to waitress myself. Really? Mm -hmm. I guess it pays the bills. Mm -hmm. okay. It pays a lot of the bills, plus. It pays a lot of the bills. could buy you a lot of nice stuff, too, I even though you look so. fine right now. I hope so. Oh, oh my God. Can that. you believe that? <laughs> Angelique was Angelique. She was ghetto from the start to finish. It's a nice day today. It's nice and beautiful. I would like to take a dip over there if you ladies would join me. I would definitely love to see what we're, uh, what kind of assets and goods we're working with. What kind of assets? Like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'll get naked. I, I think he looks that. just fine under that shirt. Well, I'm going to take it off. We're going to get in the bathing suit. We're going to get in the bathing suit. We're going to get over here and relax. Me and the three other ladies were getting undressed to get in the pool, and everybody was letting me check out their goods at the same time. Seeing Alan and his speedos, he had all the right curves in all the right places. So, what would be, what would say would be your best, best asset? My best asset yeah, would be my blue eyes and my real boobs. Uh -huh. <laughs> real boobs. They're real. Now, how do we know? Does anybody here have fake boobs? How do, how do no? We... Okay. No. All real. real. Now, how do we know that? Oh, can I? Oh. There's only one way to find out, though. Angelique had asked all the girls if our breasts were real, and he wanted to um, feel it. That's the only way he could know if they were real. He could definitely feel them. Top notch. Top notch. Oh, my God. Oh, for me. We got a Absolutely. Monet actually pulled down my pants a little aggressive, 
but not too much. I don't have a problem with that. I was just like, oh my God, what is going on here? Girl, get some class. Absolutely not. not. Oh, you okay. do? He's farting. I can see bubbles coming. And what is farting. I definitely wanted to see how he looked in a G-string, so I did bring him a little something. Hopefully he'll remember me by that because no other girls did bring him anything. When he took off his shorts and changed into those little leopard thingies, I saw everything. I want to see you in my gift that I gave you. You want to see? Yeah. You might as well run a hotel room while you're at it, because you're acting like a I really don't like to see him wearing something that another woman bought for him, but it did look good on him. I seem to be out of, out of uh, bathing suit. What about you? How do you feel about <laughs> public nudity? Okay, I'm in the wrong day. That is true. Well, why don't you do you, Ma? Because, you know, it seems like you know you're going to be a little healthy. Being naked is an art. It is an art. It is an art. Damn. It's an art. I, I have a lot of fun. You're just, just saying that's a like, like word. I mean, that's not really ladylike at all. So stop talking. I mean, stop talking about being ladylike because you haven't been ladylike. You might as well take your top off. Don't go there. I don't need to take my top off. I got more class than that, baby doll. That has nothing to do with class. It has a lot to do with class. Well, I'm not a follower, you know? I did what I felt like doing. I bet you you get cut after this round. I bet you you get cut after Marilyn Monroe. It didn't take long for the girls to come out of their bathing suits whatsoever. Why not flaunt it? If you have it, flaunt it. Too much. Thank you. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Huh? All the other girls just really jumped into it. I might have thought about it, but then I figured, might as well, I only live once. When everybody started taking the top off, I felt a lot uncomfortable. I felt like there was about to be a lesbian porn show, and I just really wasn't interested in it. You say that for later, you know what I'm saying, baby? The more you got covered, the more there's a surprise. That's true. 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 Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Please, and put some more fake hair up in that hair. Talk to me later when you ain't got all this up in here. I don't even know how it started, but all of a sudden I felt water splash in my face and I looked up and I see the weave in my face and a lot of makeup and I was just like, oh, it must be Aaliyah because she's so ugly. I think the whole situation between Angelique and I occurred because of her insecurities. No, go hold me back, go hold me back. Go hold me back. Seriously, man, I am class. At first I think Angelique was being a bigger person until she got out of the pool and then she just started flipping out. I didn't really particularly care too much about the fight. I understand that the girls didn't like each other, they were talking about each other, but I think Aaliyah went a little too far. She's just a slut, man. I don't want to be around this. This isn't for me. Like, you're in a thong. Alan was really asking me to stay because Alan really would like me. Alan said that he would cut Aaliyah if I would just stay and he's really upset that she's a troublemaker. Let me tell you something. I may be here topless, but I have a lot of I do too. Exactly. I have a lot. The first cut is coming up next. And later, she used a lot of tongue, which was okay, but the lipstick was all over the place, so I think she needs to tone down the kissing a little bit. Now, let me tell you. <laughs> in round one, things got heated in the pool, and one girl took matters into her own hands. I feel as though I need to eliminate myself because I'd rather not be around people who are trashy. I'm a classy lady and I'm not going to be around people who need to take their tops off to get a man. So this has never happened on Actually Eliminate. This is a first that a woman actually eliminated herself from the competition. She don't want to be in the same room, especially with you, because she's pissed at you because of what you did. How do you feel about that? I just, I think she was intimidated since she first set eyes on me. I'm sorry. Oh, that okay. You know. Angelique, I'm sorry that you actually eliminated yourself. I really wanted you to be in the competition to see exactly what kind of person she was. I'm sorry that we didn't get to get to know each other a little bit better. I'm sure you'll make out just fine with whoever you're with, but don't pick Aaliyah. Took the ladies a moment, we sat on the sofa, and we just talked. Got to know one another, relax a little bit. That's what exactly I wanted to do, to fill the ladies out, to see what the change in atmosphere they mood would be if they can adjust according to the atmosphere. Everybody looks very, very lovely. You look lovely. Yeah, you look very, very nice. Very lovely. I have three gorgeous women here, so. And, um, it, hmm? No, not that often. No, I'm very choosy about the women I date. So who's your ideal person? So what's the ideal? Yeah. What do you look like? My ideal woman is very spontaneous. I like a woman that likes to have fun. That can cook. I love long legs. 
what you When are we going to start dancing? Are we going to dance in here or something? You want to dance in Yes, because I'm me. getting a little bit annoyed with the conversation. Well, you dance for me. All right. We would sit here and love to see you dance. <laughs> I was just a little overwhelmed with how close everyone was, and I just uh, I got irritable. You get all the drinks. You get me like that. Uh, you get treated the same way you treat others. Be quiet. You've been, hating, you you been hating since I came out of the bathroom. What do I have? What, and I mean, you what have I got to be jealous of? You've been hating since what they What would I hate on you for? What? What would I hate on you for? I don't know. What do you have that I don't, that I want? A lot of stuff. Like what? Physical beauty. Okay. Try I, I don't got to wear all the makeup. Lips. See, I'm, I'm, na lips. I'm natural. I have pigment. I'm natural. Why don't you try that? Yeah. All the makeup you wear. Aaliyah, she's a little too bitchy. She definitely has problems. She's just not a person that likes to be around people. Just because yeah. I spend a little time on myself doesn't I like mean that I don't look good. I like personality. I don't necessarily think that um, beauty mm. looks go a long way. I like personality. We are really well. arguing too much. Can we talk about something more lighthearted? Like, I'm really not interested. Is the competition too much for you? No, it's not the competition. It's just that I'm like, I'm an attention person. I like uh, a lot of attention. Like, I don't like sharing, you know. You think she likes a lot of attention? Too much. How like come attention? every like time he asks a question Wait, about like, me, you have to say like, something like, negative? Like what is it like about me? Is good. What is it about me that, that no, you said too much. Right. Liking attention is good, but for some reason I like too much attention. Explain to me why you think I like attention too much. Break it down, baby. Because why? All why? Of them and you want them all to yourself. Oh, you're just I mean, a hater. You're a hater. No. <laughs> everyone likes attention, but. A hater. Ali is hating on everyone else because she thinks she looks better than she does. All she did was bitch the whole night, and it was getting a little irritating. I'm a little claustrophobic, yeah. You want to you want sit over in the chair? Yes. Or okay. could we dance or something? Just you know? class the fabric. I mean, there's a door. Get some air outside. <laughs> Let's go get my mudslide. Huh? Let's go get my mudslide. You gonna go get it? Mm -hmm. I'll be right here waiting for you. Oh my God! Jenny Craig, here we come. Jenny Craig. Oh my God. Are we going to? Uh, was well, that spontaneous <laughs> enough or what? I think the weight of all four of us actually helped that. She was sitting on there first. Sat down, it had already collapsed. That was her big ass and her J Lo outfit. How would you perform a passion and kiss? How would you start off? Are you in the caressing mode or? Alan, why do you want to sit on the couch so long? Can I ask you? Like, I'm comfortable. You enjoying like being covered up by like all this women body flesh? Is that what you want to do? Is that how you want to spend your evening? Do you have any other place we can go? Do I have any other? We have place? any other suggestions? Like, can we get up and go over to the bar or something? Fine, come sit on the table. <laughs> I don't want to pull him out of his flesh nest. Come on, will you come to the bar with me, please? Sure, what's at the bar? Thank you so much. What's me, at... I'm at the bar. You're at the yes, bar. I'm at the bar. I'll be in a good mood at the bar. Thank you. She wanted to have some quiet time, so I figured, get away from everybody, she would do something different. I was trying to have a little switch up environment because I felt like the girls are being pretty boring. Aaliyah, you're a real cop out. You couldn't say what you had to say to him in front of everybody. You had to take him to go tell him by himself. Please don't cut me. <laughs> Bitch, but don't, I... don't don't say that. What? Don't don't say that. What do you want to do? You have that you have that alone time. Sure. And I have a martini, please. Yes, please. I only brought you here to let you know because I feel a little nervous and I don't want to talk. And I just wanted to let you know I have interest in you. You know what I mean? That's all. She likes to be attention. She, she, she seems like beauty is the only thing that you have. kind of carry for She was probably sitting there telling him how pretty she is. I did connect with him a little bit. I think he understands that I'm not always as unpleasant as I was. Who will Alan cut next? I wouldn't be surprised if Alan eliminated me this round because of my behavior during that little claustrophobic situation. But if he knew what was good for him, he'd keep me and eliminate Daylene. I think Aaliyah's going to get cut this round because she's a bitch. I think Aaliyah would definitely get cut this round. The center of attention was all on her. She wasn't getting it, so she would definitely get cut. Eliminate. <laughs> Who is Alan going to eliminate next? Monet, Daylene, or Aaliyah? Ladies, I had a wonderful time this evening with all of you ladies. But you have to keep in mind that this is a date. And somebody here wasn't competitive. I don't like that. So, Aaliyah. Oh, my God! Sorry. Oh. 
<laughs> oh! <laughs> so, ladies, we going to the next round. Go. Oh, you suck! <laughs> You're so stupid! Oh my God! Looks can't get you everywhere. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Take it to the next round, and we'll see what happens between the two of you. Okay. Okay. All right. I took the ladies to Envy to relax and unwind, have some cocktails, and, and see what, what kind of flow they're in now. How would you actually end the night with me? What were what, what we around four, five, and six be like? I have a hotel room. <laughs> oh, really? You'd probably have to dance on my bed and those cheese strings I got you in round one. Oh, really? Yes. And what else? Get some, um, some service from them, um, telling them to bring some whipped cream, some garnishes for you. Yeah, I love your body. Oh, really? I remember that. You remember that? I remember that. That's good. That's good. Monet actually mentioned to me that her new mean of rumor service would be whipped cream and cherries because she said she likes my chest and she would love to lick it off. So that gave me some inclination that she's ready for round seven, eight, and nine. How about yourself? Oh, well, you start off with some dancing here, and then after that, take it back to your place and set up to a hotel. Bubble bath, maybe, massage, and then take it from there. And take it from there. Would you be in there with me? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, it's good. Stay lane strategy was very bland, very dry, but I think he needs a little bit more action than what she can give him. Sometimes I feel there's a time and place for everything. Mm -hmm. And being at the circumstances that we're in, I can definitely make more, you know. We can go over here to the DJ booth. Oh, really? Show you some more effects. You want to go to DJ yeah. booth? Are you sure? Right. And you stay in here? So what do you actually have in store for me up here? We'll find out. We'll find out? Yeah. OK. I took him upstairs. I led him to the lounge area. It was nice, very hot, very passionate. So it's like, what's going on here? There is nothing that woman won't do. I wasn't sure really what was going on, so I had to go check it out for myself. Seeing this trashy looking girl, uh, giving him a lap dance. How surprising this was her instead of the other one. No, actually I'm not jealous. I don't put myself out there like that. I kind of, you know, I let him see what I have and then later, when Delene came up, she actually saw what was going on. I saw her look in her eyes. She looked a little jealous. But I said, if I can get her over here and do the same thing, the more the merrier. Oh, I can take all my clothes. Guaranteed, yeah, I can take all my clothes. Delene thought I wasn't being classy by seducing him. But why the three seconds later that she did the same exact thing? That's not the type of girl I am. Because this is a competition and I want to win, I had to sacrifice and I did it. It's going to be a very, very tough choice that I have to make this evening. Will it be Daylene or Monet? Alan's final cut is next. <laughs> Ladies, I can't tell you how much of a wonderful time I had with both of you ladies this evening. But unfortunately, this is a limit date, and I have to make my decision. Daylene, I have to cut you. And Monet, I have to cut you. And the reason why I cut you is because you didn't take the initiative. Uh, Monet actually took charge. Well, if that's the that. kind of girl you want to be with, and uh, nothing else to show, then okay. good luck. No hard feelings. Thank you. I have nothing to say to Alan. But good luck. I like Monet because she's very outgoing, very spontaneous. She has a gorgeous body. She's goal-oriented. She knows how to take care of a man. And she's a freak, and I like that. I think I could have given him a lot. Um, he would have just had to see how to pick me to see, and he didn't. So now he has her, and apparently he doesn't really have too much to look forward to. So you ready for a wonderful evening tonight? Yes. Yeah? Definitely. Round four, five, and six? Get to know you. Get to know you a little bit better? Definitely.